Hi you guys, my name is Rachel aka Lily Works. Welcome to my channel. Um, in this video I am going to be shipping jewelry with you guys. Uh, I have all this jewelry sitting in front of me. I just did a what sold over the weekend video and I thought why don't I just record what I'm doing and so you guys understand how I ship these jewelry uh, pieces. I think I have a pretty good system down and yeah, I have a few pieces I can show you. So here are the pieces that sold. Um, and here are my labels. I already have my labels and then what sold um, on the back so that I know which label goes with which. These are the two size jewelry boxes that I use. Um, this might be like a three by three and this might be a two by three inch. I have both of these sizes linked uh, below this video. And then here are the jewelry pieces. So I'm actually just um, putting this one in right now. This is the Rose Quartz necklace sold for $29.99. So I put it in the bigger one. I just put it in this simple Ziploc uh, bag. This is where I keep my different size bags. So this is that size. I have a little bit smaller. I put earrings and brooches and things on these cards in this little bag as you can see right here. And then these actually fit exactly into uh, this box, as you will see. And I also have these linked below as well. And then for anything bigger, I will just show you. Don't get dizzy. I have these boxes right here. These are the eBay boxes. These are a size 6 by 4 and 3 quarters by four and three quarters and I use these boxes let's just say let's look in here let's just say I sold this right here this would not fit this is a big chunky necklace and it would not fit in this box I would wrap this up in bubble wrap or paper and put it in a box like this this box does fit a label nicely on the side right here you guys can see so yeah when I ship out jewelry, I actually just put a card in that I uh, create on Zazzle. I will put the card, it fits really nicely in there. Now where did I put the top, now that I've been talking? Okay, great. We'll just grab one of these tops, put that in there with one hand, and then I will tape both sides with tape and now it's really cushioned and secure in there um, this like will not really get smushed or anything so this has always been enough protection for me when I ship so you can either buy these poly mailers right here, or you can do small bubble mailers. I have those right here. You can order some off of eBay, get some from Amazon. Um, otherwise, these have been working. I do belts and things in these smaller ones. This is maybe a nine by four inch. And then I will just put this in here. Um, I will I'll do that. Now you can see that I um, put that in there, I closed it up, I put the label on it, and this is good to go. So I will um, do a smaller one with you guys. So get this pink box. I can put in, I'll put in like brooches, little pins, tie clips, earrings, and then this fits in here just like that. Really nice in there. I'll grab a card and I write 
love Rachel right in here and then I will fold this over and it actually gives it a little bit more protection and cushion right there I do the same thing I put this on tape it put it in the poly mailer and then this one is good to go now you might be wondering what um, like how do I get labels and things like that so um, for if you are determining your own size Poshmark you don't have to worry they'll give you a label no matter what you're selling eBay um, first class I always am shipping first class um, for four ounces or under and I will just show you that almost all jewelry that I sell is for four ounces or under so let me just show you here's my scale this one is not even an ounce this one is an ounce and six or 1.6 ounces this one is 2.2 ounces 1.3 and then 2.6 um, let me just see if I can grab this heavier one so this one would be six ounces so you can tell this one is probably one of the heaviest um, pieces that I have so but most things I would say 99% of jewelry that I have um, ships for four ounces or less and that is all, four ounces or less is all one um, first class package rate. Now first class does not have like a insurance. So if you want your jewelry to be insured, go with the priority and still put in the same weight, four ounces, and then um, the dimensions. I just put six by four. It doesn't really matter as long as it's below 10 by 10 by 10. <clears throat> Um, and yeah, so first class usually ships around on average $3.50 and um, priority can ship for right now for something that's like less than a pound. I think it's a little bit less than $8, but you are getting insurance up to $50. So some of the more expensive jewelry pieces that you don't want to get lost, you might want to put um, as priority mail and they have those options if you are shipping eBay if you're shipping Mercari on your own which I do and I would recommend that because Mercari does uh, pay, Mercari costs a lot for shipping if you're going through Mercari and it could deter buyers from purchasing your items with their shipping all right this is the Cuisine bolo tie that I packaged up it is in that black box and it was less than four ounces before and then packaging doesn't really add a whole lot so it's still less than four ounces going at first class anything that is uh i think 15.9 ounces i guess uh, less than 16 ounces can go um, first class and like i said before it's not insured but it is the cheapest rate um, and I think UPS is also working on a cheap rate as well but right now uh, the making of this video first class USPS is the cheapest way to ship jewelry all right I have all my jewelry ready to go um, up to the mailman I have baby boy helping me oh you found bunny ears <gasps> Gideon Gideon you want to say hi say hi wow so um yeah so that's how i ship uh jewelry if you like this video make sure to give me a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions uh, or just to say hi thanks for those of you who comment on all my videos it means a lot to me and i will see you guys oh make sure to subscribe and i will see you guys next video thanks bye